Smile and learn. Hello, everyone. Check out my new watch. It's cool, right? I recently learned how to tell time. It's been great. I know when to wake up or sleep at night so I can have enough rest. Knowing when to do all my activities helps me plan my day at the right time. Do you want to see how time works? Let's find out! We tell time using watches or clocks, like the ones you see in a classroom. There are two types of clocks, a digital clock and an analog clock. A digital clock tells time with numbers. Some examples might be a digital alarm clock, the digital clock on a microwave, or the digital clock in a car. The other type of clock is called an analog clock, which we will look at in more depth today. It's like the one I'm wearing. An analog clock shows time with two moving hands, then move in a circle on numbers 1 through 12. Let me show you. It is numbered 1 to 12. We divide the clock into 12 sections. Each section equals one hour. One hour is how long a school period might be. There are also two hands. The shorter one is the hour hand. And the longer one is the minute hand. The positions of the hour and the minute hands indicate what part of the day we are in. The hour hand moves from one section to another as the day goes by. It takes two circles around the clock to complete a full day, which is 24 hours. The minute hand moves faster than the hour hand. A minute is how long you might take to make chocolate milk. Yum! One circle made by the minute hand around the clock equals one hour. Both the hour and minute hands move in the same direction from 1 to 12, towards the right. This is called clockwise. Clocks can be fascinating, right? Wow! It's my lunchtime! I'm hungry! Check out the following videos where we will learn about how to tell time. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.